Now, let's talk about the next React hook, which is useRef. useRef is a built-in React hook that accepts one argument as an initial value and return the reference. So, the syntax of using useRef is something like this. We call useRef and specify the initial value to it. The first argument is going to be the initial value. useRef is mutable. So, you can change the value anytime you like. Now, before you use useRef in your component, you need to first import that. So, at the top, you have to say import in the object, you have to say useRef from React. Now, let's suppose that you want to update the value of this useRef. The initial value right now is zero. Now, what if I create here a constant handle function like this? And if I say here countref dot current, using current, you get the current value of this useRef. Right now, the current value is zero. You can note. Using this current property, you get the initial property argument value. I'm going to increase the value by one when I call this handler function. Just for that, right down here, I'm going to say console.log and print this value, this one. And just for that, inside this division tag, right here, I'm simply going to put a button and call the handler function to it, this one. Let me save the changes and show you the result. Now you can see here, I have this click me button. When I click on this button, you can see inside my console, I'm going to get the user value. Whenever I click on this click me, it's going to increase the value of the initial state. The initial value is zero, and this statement is going to update this state by one every time when I click on this click me button. And now, if you try to print a console.log message just after this handle right down here, when I save the changes, reload the browser, I'm going to have this I render console message. But when I click on this click me again, the component is not going to re render. Instead, we're just going to get the updated value in the console. You also call this hook use reference. So, using use reference, no re rendering happens when the reference is updated. Let me show you a very simple example. I'm going to simply create here constant input ref is equal to use ref. And right now, I'm not going to specify any initial value to this use ref. Just for that, inside my division tag right down here, I'm going to create input of the type text and then I'm going to specify here reference. I'm going to call here a property called ref. And to this ref, here I'm going to pass this variable input ref something like this and then inside this handle right here i'm going to say input ref this variable dot current dot focus something like this let me get rid of this console message save this file and now let me reload the browser so when i click on this button you can see this is going to focus on this input text box this is because we have here a statement input reference current focus inside this current we have this dome value and using this dome I'm going to focus on this input text box. Now, the use reference is only able to access the element inside the use effect hook. Let's suppose that if I console.log this input reference just out of this handle function and before this return statement, let me save the changes, reload the browser. You can see I'm going to get undefined as a response. This is because inside this use reference, before the component is mounted, we don't have anything. Instead, we have the default value of this use reference, which is undefined. So, as a response, you will get undefined. Now, what if you use this console.log message inside use effect? So, at the top, what if I say here use effect something like this and then print this console.log? And I'm going to just pass here a second argument as an array. Now, let me import this use effect at the top. Now, let me save the changes, reload the browser, and you can see I'm going to get this input text box as a response inside my console. This is because once the component gets mounted in the UI, the use effect hook is going to trigger. And then you will have your response back to the console. So, this is a very simple example of the use reference hook of React. Let's talk about the next React hook. 